Artist Anson Henry says he spent a month carefully crafting this piece meant to memorialize international cricket legend and national hero Sir Isaac Vivian Richards. I wanted persons to be as proud as we should be for our national hero because of the amount of things that he would have been doing for the country. So with that you took moments that were more celebrated than others, for instance, when he had the series of six sixes. If one particular set of shots in there represented that, the idea that he was a bowler, not many persons focus on that. Sports Minister the Honorable Darrell Matthews says Sir Viv is the first of many legends in the sporting fraternity whose accomplishments will be recognized under a new initiative being launched by his ministry. There are many unsung heroes here in Antigua and Barbuda, and a lot of times persons behave as if the wheel was invented yesterday. Right? But we stand on person's shoulders. We stand on those who really did not benefit from their contribution the way others are benefiting today. Minister Matthew's sentiments were shared by both the cricketing legend Sir Vivian and stadium manager Keefry Black. Black had a major announcement for the stadium's lobby. We, would have had, we have another 21. 22 persons would have represented this country at the international level who played for the West Indies. And we're hoping to have their photos placed in this room as well. A section of the room, he says, will also be used as a gift shop for the many tourists who visit the stadium daily. Having given his nod of approval, the national hero also highlighted another cricketer he deemed worthy of such an accolade. Even though it's in my honor today that there's an individual who was my particular inspiration, and that's Andy Roberts. Sir Andy. <laughs> Sir Viv added the finishing touch his signature to an art piece which is sure to invoke national pride. Rakib Aparicio putting for ABS News.